All right, I hope this turns out good. Uh, this is about Big Comet. Uh, just for those who are kind of confused on what to do, uh, just do a Google search for Big Comet. Uh, go to the website. Uh, this is going to allow you to download uh, torrents, uh, different kinds of files that are shared across the internet. But you're going to do BitTorrent. You want to go to download um, and click on the download section for the 0.93 version. It's going to take you more than likely to CNET download.com. You're going to go ahead and click that link and you should get the dialog box like you normally do. I'm running Firefox so my download layout may look a little different than yours but your whole goal is to just download the bit comet uh, extension. Uh, I've already got BitComet installed on my computer, so after you do your installation, uh, you want to open up BitComet, and it'll probably look foreign to you, uh, but it's basically just a small setup that's going to manage your torrent files uh, when you're actually downloading them. So I don't use the search engine that's in BitComet. BitComet works well for me, so I haven't had a problem with it, but I normally uh, I get on the net and just go to Google and I will Google up torrents uh, which is basically a torrent search engine uh, that I really haven't had too many problems with um, I normally just go to torrents and it'll take me to a simple page uh, that allows me to type in what it is I'm looking for and for example 2007 DVD rips this is basically where people are uh, basically burning movies or whatnot and you can see a list of them here I picked Transformers the movie there's different sites that are hosting this file mini Nova I use a lot I don't normally have any problems with them so I clicked on the Transformers for mini Nova and as you can see there's the Transformers movie file and I can click download this torrent and uh, when I do so the download dialog box will pop up and I can either select open with BitComet or I can save the torrent file to my computer but I normally open and you can see when I click open it shows me what I'm gonna download there's an AVI file for transformers and an information file and if I click OK here uh, then it will go to my actual BitComet and there's a green arrow point down that means I am now downloading transformer shows my file size the percentage of it being done how many kilobytes and my seeds and peers um, I normally like to click on peers and it kinda shows me how many different people I'll be downloading from and how much percentage they have completed but for instance you can go back to torrents and say you're looking for another file uh, you can type that in, run a search. Uh, you can see there's less options here because it's not posted everywhere. And you can see there's only one torrent site hosting that, which is uh, that site there. But you can click on that link. It will take you to that torrent site. And once again, you can see there's a button for download torrent for that actual file. You can even op open with BitComet or you can save that file however you like. As you can see, there's more files affiliated with uh, this in particular download. Normally click OK, and if you go check your torrent now, you will have two files being shared across the net from other people. Now, my suggestion for anybody, anything I download, a torrent, any kind of file, I always run a virus scan on anything that I run. You know, you never know what you're going to find in a file. It could be viruses or anything right here uh, you have an option where you can delete all of the files you've downloaded or just delete the task at hand uh, so for transformers I'm gonna delete all of the files because I already have that movie now after say autotune is done say you wanna keep the file but you don't want people downloading it from you you can click delete task only that'll delete the task from BitComet, but it'll leave the file uh, where it's being downloaded to. Uh, you can set where you want your file to be downloaded to uh, and it's normally at the beginning where 
you were deciding that you were going to actually download. And if you don't know where it's downloaded, just right click it, click open directory, and uh, it'll show you your actual file. And uh, right here, I was actually just going to see if I could find um, where you can manually set it. But of course, this is the wrong area. So I need to bag out of this and um, go to properties of that in particular file but you can see right here it's grayed out right now because right when I began to download this file I did have the option to choose where I wanted to download it so before you start downloading you can direct the folder where you want it to go it's, it's totally up to you but that is downloading normally when you're finished downloading you're gonna either get an orange arrow pointing upward which means people are downloading from you or you're going to see a blue arrow pointing left and a blue arrow pointing right, which means that that file is sitting idle and nobody is downloading from you, but they can uh, if they were to be able to connect to you and download. But other than that, very simple layout. Uh, I hope it works for you. Uh, right here, as you can see, I'm just taking you to my folder. There it is. It's currently being downloaded. I can go into this folder and see it where the files are being downloaded at uh, and that's pretty much it but like I say anything you download please run a virus check on it you don't want you don't want to go downloading something that you know you're gonna end up getting a virus on so anything you download do a virus check on it please uh, kinda save yourself some trouble in the long run this is Joe Pro thank you talk to you later